Welcome back, friends. We are here with the Star Wars Tops Bounty Hunters Hobby Box. This is the big one, so this is very exciting. I love opening these because we're definitely guaranteed to get something decent out of these. And, uh, okay. Let's get right into it. I got, um, yeah, I got a good deal on some of these boxes, so I think I got them for like 80 bucks or something. Definitely cheaper than what I have historically bought them for. I think at one point they were up to like 150, but they've dropped a lot, and now you might even be able to get some as cheap as 75. I don't know who is actively collecting these. But let's see for anything thick, unusually thick. I don't see anything unusually thick, so I guess we'll just dive right into pack sorting then. So you know, it's funny. I they have patches that they make for these hobby boxes, the bounties, but I don't know if I've ever pulled one myself. Oh wow, we already got a hit, and it's 75. It's a green Dr. Pershing, so okay. Well, I was hoping for a better auto there. I don't know how many freaking Dr. Pershings there are, but... Okay, well, looks like diving right into the middle seems to be the hit spot. Let me get rid of these. Dr. Pershing Green, out of 75. Yeah, I mean, of his autos alone, like, I have the regular, the green, the purple, the gold, and the red. I only don't have the blue one. Um, so I guess I wouldn't mind the blue one, but, well, you know, it is numbered, so it's not terrible. There's a Cad Bane card. I'm also hoping to find the very elusive B398 Max Rebo blue variation. It's not numbered, but of everything I've ripped, of all the packs I've gotten, of all the bulk lots I've bought, I've never come across that card. <laughs> it's just so weird to me that I haven't found it yet. Now, given these are hobby boxes, we should be seeing anywhere from four to six number cards. I think the auto, because it's numbered, will probably mean we'll see one less numbered card. Um, so, we'll, we'll have to see. So far, no other numbered hits, just this Dr. Pershing. 75. Let's see, Darth Vader. It's good to get a Vader, right? Blue. More scared marks. If you haven't seen any of these yet, feel free to check out my channel. I pulled some really interesting stuff in some of my previous rips. Oh, and here is a patch card. It's a Han Solo bounty unnum... No, it is numbered. It is numbered to 199. Um, but I do have this one. I was hoping for a lower numbered bounty. Um, but that is the first time I pulled a patch. So, okay. And it's funny. I, I guess I assumed that the pack would be thicker. I didn't really check for it though. Uh, yeah, nothing. Hmm. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. More nothing. Okay, so technically two numbered things. Interestingly, a patch and a numbered auto we already have, but come on. What are we going to do here? All right. I'm hoping to get some numbered card. Preferably, it'd be great to get some B3 reds, because those are the most rare to come up with. Uh, so. Wow, no regular base parallels. It must all be in that stack. I mean, what are the odds at this point having not pulled one? Kind of weird, right? Really weird. All right, they're, better. they're probably all in this stack. They've got to be all in this stack. Come on. Give me some non... We don't want the green base one stuff, because we pretty much have all that. There's only using one, as of this recording. B195 green out of 150. Um, missed a shot to buy it. That's a single... Oh! Salacious Crumb. B397, so he is a numbered sucker. Um, 
Yeah, and in terms of like having him, I do have him already, but uh, it is a B3 numbered card, numbered to 50, so come on, give me some more of those B base three numbered cards, preferably something we don't have. That would be great. It's always going to be tons of base one and base two, particularly like a ton of base two. I think I have more base two than I have base one, which is kind of weird. I don't know if I just have a knack for getting base two. I mean, technically, maybe half as uncommon as the green, but I've come across more complete base two sets completed then. Base one. Come on, number card, number card. Ooh, four long. That's a base three red. So he is B394, 24 out of 25. These are the kind of pulls we want to get. And a B394, we don't have it, so that's a slam dunk right there. That's a great pull. I think I was watching that card too. I feel like most of the time those are listed for like 30 bucks, which is like a big ask for singles. But it is what it is. Great pull though. I wish I had gotten this kind of box much earlier. It would save me from buying those singles. Because I'm pretty sure I bought Han Solo as a single. I bought Pershing Green as a single. And Salacious Crumb. I don't know if I did, but highly likely. Now it's supposed to be two hits in the box. So what is our other hit? Or a sing purple. Alright, let's put these away first. Alright, let's put these. So this is B1679 out of 99. Um, we do have this one, so. Probably something I got as a single at some point. All right, come on, let's finish strong here. Although I'm not super optimistic. Oh, wait, I do see a purple thing in there. Val purple, okay. And more junk here. So she is B240. This is 38 out of 75. We do have her already. So this will be in another extra. Um, so far with the numbered hits, I mean, there's six numbered things in front of me, so it's unlikely. It's unlikely to get another number one. You never know. Yeah, probably not. Two more. No B3 blues yet. Come on, give me a Max Rebo. Bid Fortuna numbered. Okay. Well, we do have him. In fact, I think I have a few of him, interestingly enough. Um, but for a numbers hitbox, this has been pretty strong. I mean, I have them, but that's just because I'm a crazy collector. I shouldn't even be opening sealed product anymore. I really should just be fishing for singles, but can't help it. And that's that. So, all in all, I mean, I did get one numbered card I didn't have, but that's a B325, so that's solid. And then the other number of cards definitely are awesome. No B3 blues, no base three blues. I mean, that just shows you how uncommon they are. I mean, there's three base two blues, um, which I have managed to almost get a second set of. Um, so all in all, can't be that upset about it. Wish I had gotten a box like this much earlier. It would have saved me from buying singles. But anyways, thanks for checking us out. Check you guys on the flip.